Hey kids, welcome to another episode of DC Kids Online. I am Justin Finley. It's great to have you guys here today. So, I wanna ask you a question. What is something you are really good at? Think about it for a moment. What is something you're really, really good at? For me, I, I'm actually pretty good at playing video games. I like to do that. I also really like to teach and I enjoy going hiking too. So those are some of the things that not only am I really good at, but I also enjoy. Now I can be pretty good at math, but I don't enjoy math. Do you guys enjoy math? I don't know. <laughs> but So everybody has different gifts and things they are good at. And today our big idea is this, you can serve others. So we're gonna jump into our Bible story, but because we're talking about things that we can do to serve others and our gifts, see there's one thing I'm not really good at, and that's kind of creating and editing videos. <laughs> so I have invited one of my good friends, Kale. Wow. Hi Kale. Now Kale's, Kale's got a big setup here. He is, this is fancy stuff here. So he's gonna jump in and I, I don't know, we're gonna do something after the Bible story to show you how you can use what you are good at and your gifts to serve those around you. Bye. Hey kids, we've been talking a lot about astronauts today. Did you know astronauts have to eat special food in space with special plates and bowls and things? It's true. <laughs> if astronauts tried to eat dinner like you do, all of their yummy food and drinks would just float away. But today, I want to tell you a story about some people who weren't astronauts, so they could eat dinner like you do. Are you ready to blast off into another Bible story? Good! Me too! Let's count down one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! One night, Jesus and his friends, who we call the disciples, got together for a special holiday dinner. The holiday Jesus and his disciples were celebrating was called Passover. Since it was an extra special meal, Jesus wanted an extra special way to show his friends he cared about them. So he decided that when his friends got there, he'd wash their feet. Wait! Their feet? Ew! Maybe your mom or dad makes you wash your hands before you eat. But your feet? Washing your feet before dinner might sound weird. But when Jesus was on earth, people walked everywhere in sandals or sometimes barefoot, and their feet would get really dirty. Because Jesus loved his disciples, he wanted to serve them. So when his friends came to dinner that night, Jesus washed their dirty, stinky, yucky feet. When some of his friends tried to stop him, he wouldn't let them. Instead, he said, Now that I've washed your feet, you should go do the same for others. Jesus didn't mean we have to wash each other's feet before dinner. But do you know what he did mean? Jesus wanted us to love, help, and take care of each other. He washed his disciples' feet to remind all of us that we can serve others. Hey kids, welcome back to DC Kids Online. Wow, man, but Jesus got down and washed the disciples' feet. In that story, when they got there for, ready for dinner, normally they would wear not shoes like, you know, shoes that cover your full foot, but they would wear like sandals that are open. And so when they're walking in the dirt, their feet would get really dirty and smelly. Now, when 
whenever anybody came to somebody else's house, usually they would have one of their servants to wash the feet. But when Jesus and the disciples came, they didn't have anybody to do that. So Jesus, wanting to show the disciples how to serve others and how someone who's super important still should take time to bend down and do something maybe that no one else wants to do. And Jesus did that for his disciples to show them how much he loved them and to show them that they can serve others. And you can serve others too. Maybe you have something that you don't really like to do, but you can do it to show God's love to them. Now, we've asked Kale to come on in and join us because I told you before, his gift is videoing and editing and all this stuff, and he got this awesome setup for us, but um, I, I'm still wondering, like, where where is he? Like, I don't know where Kale is. Hey, guys! Whoa! Hey! Kale! <laughs> yeah! What are you doing? Like, I, I don't know. What? Are, how are you so small? I, uh, I honestly don't know. This is this is kind of weird for me. Uh, that is, it's very weird. Um, guys. Yeah. Kale's normally not this small. No, I, I should be. Once I get off your hand, I should be back to normal height. I don't. I actually don't know how I did this. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Yeah, well, we're very glad you're here, Kale. Oh, me too. Me we're too. we're talking about our theme is blast off and outer space. Oh, outer and, space? Yeah, outer oh, space. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, I got a spaceship. If y'all want to go to outer space, you you got a spaceship? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, that's really cool. I'm I'm kind of nervous about going to outer space. Oh, I don't really? know about you guys. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. But I was wondering, Kale, could you take our friends to outer space with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Awesome, right. awesome. So, yeah. So I don't. There's no real need for your spaceship here. Just what, hold what, up. What? 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 Whoa. So guys. Remember our big idea? You can serve others. So, whoa, whoa. So, go out and do it. I gotta figure out how to get down now. All right. I guess I won't see you next week, but Justin will. Ah. Uh.